Okay, so hi folks. Um, I made a video not long ago, a few days ago, I guess, uh, about this uh, something I got off eBay. It's a mechanical pinball machine, Vanity Fair computer pinball. Uh, didn't know much about it. Um, wasn't much stuff on the internet about it. Uh, I, I bought it on a whim. I explained all that when on my last video when I took it apart because it wasn't really working very well. Uh, needed a few things, needed new batteries, a couple of broken wires here and there, uh, just lubricated, fixed up. Uh, but here it is, I, I got it working to a point of it being uh, really good to play. Uh, so I thought maybe I'd show it to you right now and um, what's a no better place than on top of an actual pinball machine because in my opinion it is an actual pinball machine. It's It has a, a, a mechanical aspect, it has an electronics aspect, electronics to keep score, sound, that sort of thing, mechanical with the arm moving around, moving the ball around, uh, the flippers, mechanical. So I think, um, yeah, I, I think this this is an actual pinball machine, just in a very small size. So I'm going to turn it on. And now with this angle, you can't see the display, but right now it says one play. I'm going to just set it for, I'm going to set it for two play. Because I'm still practicing. So it gives me more balls. It's five balls per play. So 10 balls. So I'm going to start. Here we go. The ball is, that's that white dot is the ball. And this is the launcher. And of course, these two things are the flippers. Okay, now, now player two. Play, play can get pretty intense sometimes on this, so, uh... And you lose your balls a lot sometimes. Like a real pinball machine. Now you may, you may wonder, how does the white dot or the ball, um balance off those those items. This, this is just a piece of plastic. How does it know the ball's there? Well, in my last video, I showed uh, the internals, and basically there's a pin on this arm that projects the light. The back side of that pin um, hits on different contacts, and those contacts are kind of tapered, so when it hits a contact, not only does it register a score, it also fires a little solenoid that kind of flips that sensor board, I'll call it, forward, and at the same time, as it goes forward, it makes the pin go the other direction, which is like the ball ricocheting off a pop bumper. I mean, it's really ingenious. I love this thing. But uh, that's it in a nutshell. Um, I used to own a, uh, a Stern Meteor, and I swear these are the same sounds. So I'll play one more ball. Maybe two balls. And I'll show you the electronics on it. So there it is. There's my score. I'm only on ball four on the right side. One is player one. And I think what I'll do, I'm going to change the camera angle so you can actually see this arm here in action when it plays. All right, so there's the, there's the ball. As I move it, it moves the ball there. Again, normally there's a cover over this part. So, look at it go. It's like a little crazy little robotic arm. So thanks for watching. I'm super excited about this. Um, keep your eyes open for these because I, I know they do come up here and there on eBay or, or what have you. So um, if you find one, get one because they are a lot of fun. And I can, I can say um, they are actually pretty easy to fix. So um, yeah, thank you.